A bombing in Kandahar has killed at least seven people at the governor's compound. The United Arab Emirates ambassador to Afghanistan and the Kandahar province governor were among 18 people injured. The ambassador and other dignitaries were at a dinner party when it happened. The UAE is calling it a heinous terrorist attack. It follows a bloody day on Tuesday when dozens of people were killed in a series of militant attacks. As many as 30 people were killed and 80 wounded in twin bombings near the parliament in Kabul. Well, for more on these attacks, Bill al Tawari joins us now from Afghanistan's capital, from Kabul. Firstly, Bilal, can we talk about the attack there in Kandahar? Has there been any official response from the Afghan authorities yet or from the UAE? Well, we know from the police chief of Kandahar uh, that at least 11 people are now confirmed killed in that uh, series of explosions inside the official residence of the governor and at least 18 people are injured. Those injured include the governor who went an operation um, uh, the UAE ambassador is among those injured. And we also now have confirmation that some UAE diplomats who are visiting Kandahar along the ambassador are, are among those killed. Uh, here in Kabul, the twin uh, suicide attacks that we had just underlines the security and intelligence failure. For the last three years, uh, that area of Kabul has been constantly attacked. And as the former head of intelligence for Afghanistan, Amrullah Saleh, uh, called it, uh, it is uh, uh, an intelligence in a security failure and the Afghan government must make sure that they get a good grip of that area, who lives there, uh, uh, who basically resides there and just sort of shows you the frustration. Uh, but on a very human level, many people are waking up to many heartbreaks. Afghanistan lost uh, some of its best people in, in these series of attacks yesterday, which were very sophisticated and deadly. Well, let's talk about the attacks there in Kabul. You said that it's being described as a security failure. Um, so talk us through exactly where those attacks took place. So Dar al Road, which is in West Kabul, this is where Afghanistan's uh, lower house and upper houses of the parliament are. This is where some of the ministries are. And for the last three years, we, three years almost, we have seen series of these sophisticated and coordinated attacks. I think if you're an Afghan citizen and you've lost a member of the family, then you have every right to question why so many intelligence and security failures, why uh, these attacks could not be prevented. Uh, but uh, you, you, you have to bear in mind that every time the Taliban a strike at will, whether that's here in Kabul, in the north, in the city of Mazar Sharif, or elsewhere, people began to question the performance of the national unity government. And I think that alone uh, is a huge blow at a time when Afghanistan is going through economic security challenges, and, and not to mention that we have over one million internally displaced Afghans who have fled uh, fighting all across the country. And, and they've basically come uh, to these uh, major cities. And I think all around, uh, it, it is a very difficult situation for the Afghan government and for the people of Afghanistan. In 2017 is a year full of security and economic challenges. Okay, Bilal, thank you.